Hello, hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So based on your suggestions from my ideas board, you will be able to benefit of Olama support to run local language models, which actually run on your local system for free and use them in the AIMatic plugin. So for this, I updated AIMatic in, and in its latest version, you will find Olama support for in the plugin and you will be able to install Olama on your local system and benefit of free language models. So let me show first the chatbot as it is configured currently to use Llama free from Olama. And let me ask it a question. You will see that this is slightly slower than other language models as this one runs locally on my computer and it takes a bit longer for the language model to generate. So here it is. You will see streaming is also supported. Okay. Now let me show you how to set this up. So first of all, you will need to go to settings of AMATIC and go to API keys. And here down in the Olama server URL, you will need to add install first Olama. So for this, click here, download it for which operating system you are running. And uh, keep note that this will work only on local WordPress installations, which have access to your local system, or you will need to tweak Olama to grant access to it uh, from remote systems. But I will cover maybe this in another tutorial video if you need this. So in my local system, I already downloaded Olama and let's install it. So now we are installing it. Actually, Olama is running on my system. So let's let's go ahead and reinstall it. So I'm installing it just to show you the process of how to run and install Olama on your local WordPress and local system. So after you will install this, you will be able to go and run a local language model. So you can check the library of Olama. So olama.com slash library and you will find all the supported models for them so they have very very many many models here and this is only the feature part so keep in mind that it is recommended for you to have a, a lot of memory on your computer for the larger models they recommend 42 giga, gigabytes of RAM and RAM and they recommend like 8 gigabytes for the 8B models. But if you run a decent sized model, then you will be able to run it on your local computer without issues. Okay, so now that I installed Olama on my computer, let's start up a common prompt. And if we write Olama, we will see this type of stuff. So we can write now Olama list. Uh, actually, we can write help. So this is the help file and we can list models so olama list like this and we have installed the feed free and llama free latest so after you install this the olama you should not have any models installed how you install models is like this olama run and you add the name of the model that you wish to run you can get the name from this library. So for example, Llama free, let's write La, actually let's, <coughs> sorry, let's run a model which is not installed to, so just to see how this will work. So let's run Mistral and now the AI, the Olama is pulling some manifest files and installing the needed AI files. After the installation is complete, 
you will be able to use this language model also in the AIMATIC plugin. So keep in mind that now AIMATIC is configured to run LAMA free, latest from OLAMA. And after we run this command, another AI will be available and uh, you need to refresh the settings from AIMATIC to be sure to access this new AI model as in OLAMA only one AI model can run at a time at the moment. So we have here downloaded the needed that files immediately and after this is done OLAMA will start up Mistral and the AI will be available also for us. So as you can see success and if we refresh here AIMATIC instead of the LAMA free latest we will be accessing the Mistral AI. So for this go to settings and you will need to re-add your uh, oh I forgot that in the server URL you will need to add this uh, string so HTTP localhost and the port is 11434 so this is the default port after you install Llama and uh, this needs to be added in the server URL so if everything works correctly you, the plugin will display info uh, OK and if we delete this and re-add it this is how currently you can refresh the models which are available for OLAMA so I deleted it saved it and re-added the uh, server URL and now if we go to our chatbot settings so if we go to AI chatbot and API parameters we will see the Mistral model also listed here so let's save and let's give it a try so hi and now Olama will use the Mistral model and it's a bit faster actually Mistral will respond faster for us okay so if you want to install other models the library will be here so olama.com slash library you can install using this command the run so olama run and the name of the ai model that you want to install and use so um, basically i showed you also how to refresh refresh ai models currently refreshing ai models is possible only if you remove this uh, string and re-add it so remove it save settings re-add it save settings i will work on adding a button here to refresh model list because uh, this is needed in this case as uh, models can be installed or removed so go ahead guys and check this functionality so you will be able to communicate with Mistral also directly here so it is working like a chatbot as you can see you will be able to write here also and also in the plugin if you set it to the Olama provider and model that you want to use and most importantly this is totally free you will be able to use the this functionality of the plugin and create text for fully free you only consume your computer's processing power to generate this text and uh, other um, pricing will not be charged for you so go ahead guys and check this new Olama functionality check their library install the model that you need I recommend the latest models which appear here on the top Currently, Llama Free is the top model which they recommend and uh, it, it can be used with great success for also the chatbot as Llama Free is uh, currently almost at GPT 4.0's level. So it produces quality content and uh, the content it produces is really great. Okay. 
So this is how you can install and use the Olama setup here. Go ahead guys and check it. Don't forget to add this string. If uh, you install it with special settings, then this string might be changed. But uh, yeah, this uh, should work also for you guys by default. And uh, yeah, okay. So I hope this new feature will be something that you will be using with success. And uh, if you have more ideas, suggestions, let me know in the comments. Also, uh, I read every comment, I reply to them and also consider the updates that are suggested. Like, share, subscribe this to this video and this channel. It's really appreciated. It helps me go forward. This is all for today. Have a nice day over and out for today. I go back to work. Bye-bye.